we got to talk about Fulham uh, capitulating against Manchester United. There was this moment where obviously there was the first sending off uh, with the handball, which I think we're all in agreement. So it was it was a handball, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, Mitrovic kicks off with the referee, grabs him by the arm, gets wagging in, uh, the finger in his face, really pissed off. He gets sent off. The the comparisons between what he did and Bruno did are out there. Mm. Uh, what do you think? Do you guys think it's a bit harsh that he got sent off, Bruno didn't, or...? I feel like they're either both something or they're neither anything, if that makes sense. So I think they're either both should be something that we really look into. And when F uh, Fernandez did it, I actually felt like that was quite a violation. It was quite a big overstep. Um, and I feel like players like him somehow managed to like live in between the lines of accountability. I think if Shaka had done that, he would have 100% got recorded. And, I, and it's more recently, I've started to look at like how much referees like turn into like personalities of their own, and they have these little like back and forth with people. Um, I can't remember what referee it was, and he was saying he's going back and forth with Bellamy, um, and he, he he started taking it really personal because he, he he was basically going at him so much that he actually gave him a dive when it was actually a penalty, and he looked back and it was a penalty afterwards. But I realised that there's like certain players that referees just don't like and they're a lot more harsher to than others but for me it's either they're both red cards and suspensions or you just accept that both of those things can happen in the game do you know what it is though? I don't want to stand up for Bruno Fernandes too much but it was a little <laughs> tap and it into his back Mitrovic walked down the referee he was proper a descent shoved him even when he got the red card he was still going to the referee's face that's for, that he actually but, walked walked forward and the referee was forced to like back off yeah he was literally squaring up to, yeah the referee literally had to, he was almost in the car park like seeing what Mitrovic is he was doing this at Newcastle in 2015 when he was 21 fine if you're young get out of your system he's 28 years old I mean do you know what when I is he going to mature <clears throat> I agree with you I think there needs to be consistency but I also feel there's other factors at play I feel like there certain clubs when you play for certain clubs mm. you do get that leeway I know people go oh, especially Man United fans they get their back up about it and go oh no we don't get favouritism listen we can go back to the Howard Webb days you guys have been getting favouritism yeah, with yeah, refs yeah. to an extent right when you play for Man United it's like and you play for Fulham you're not going to get the same treatment that's the first thing second thing I do feel the context of the games is important as well. Mm. Like when Bruno Fernandes did it, what, were they already 7-0 down at that point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, what, and then a red card? I feel like referees start letting, I don't know, letting things go. get into their head and go, oh, well, then that's just too much. They could lose 9-0. And I know we're not supposed nah, to question nah. professionalism, but I'm telling you, if, nah, if you're, nah, that's they do. Nice. If you're 7-0 nice. down and, and, and someone's lost their head a bit, because you, you have to use a bit of context and go, they're 7-0 down. Does that mean mm -hmm. you can shove the ref a bit? Of course not. But you got to understand, 7-0 down, the emotions are how you're captain in that team at that point. Mitrovic, he's always been a bit of a fiery character. Mm -hmm. We know that. Doesn't mean he can get away with what he's doing. But Bruno Fernandes isn't as fiery as him. So I feel like you've got to take some of these contexts into, into consideration. Yeah. I understand that Mitrovic was sent off. For me, I think it should just be a free game ban. Simple. I don't think I'm hearing nine games, no, eleven I'll, games. I'll, I'll, I'll take. I would hate to think that any referees are showing leniency because the team is losing six nil. This yeah. isn't. This isn't under 12s football. Do you know what I mean, no, but they, they do. Though. Like, nah, like, but they like referees play into the narrative of what's happening on the day. They take it all into context, and it's really hard to not be into it in that way. You can't just be like, because there's times where I watch like Arsenal and I see like handballs, and they know that if they give that penalty, it's such a big thing. Like it's you're going to be scrutinised harder. Human, aren't they? They, yeah, they, for they giving that penalty. They're by the teams, the occasion, the circumstances, what that then like if you're a if you're a referee and it's it's five nil, giving a penalty does not feel like a big decision. And so they are human. I think we have to tell but, but one thing that you made was an interesting point was like you said both should be or no neither should be. It's difficult because to me, Bruno's push wasn't as severe as Mitrovic. I agree yeah. with you. However, if we're going to write things down in the laws of the game, mm -hmm. you have to make it very much black and white. Yeah. You either, if you put your hand on a referee, it's the same thing no matter how, what it is. This, I guess. Is, this is a big point, though, in general, because we have the lowest amount of refs coming into the game. Ever. Mm -hmm. It's a super big problem. Grassroots football is going down like to the pits. It's super, super Mate, scary. Did you hear time. that story uh, on TalkSport? Uh, I think it was like a year ago where that referee went on and he had the shit kicked out of him in yeah. a Sunday so, league game. It's so insane. this is the thing. What everyone is saying, and I agree with this, is you've almost got to do it from the very top level. If there is any contact with the referee at all, whatever sort of push, you've got to protect the referees. Because quite frankly, that then goes into Sunday league football and all of like all of those referees need to be protected. It goes into no playgrounds. Even... It goes exactly. into everywhere. Like, And, and I remember like anyone that tried to referee a game 
would be just a target. Like you just lean on them, whoever it is. Yeah. And I feel like like um, I did a piece on Good Morning Britain about um, parents attacking like uh, uh, referees and coaches on the side and how common it is. Like we're talking about thousands of incidences a year. Dude, it's wild. Mothers in, in that as yeah. well. Like, crazy. There was a mother who who hit a ten year old boy for slide tackling her son. Like that's what's going on. Must so, be a bad so for me, I just feel like they both should have been red cards and we should have just stamped it out straight away. But the fact that they allowed Bruno to go through and now they're talking about ten games for him, yeah. people just looking at it and just being like, This is inconsistent. It thing, ruins the product for me. Thing is though, big difference. I swear Bruno was on the linesman though, right? Linesman, yeah. 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 Mitchell's on the guy with the red card in his back pocket. So obviously the referee's going yeah, to come the, down harder Yeah, but the assistant that. referee made the decision and then he decided to interact with him physically. For me, that just should be a red card. Well, you, you can see though how it was different to Mitrovic though, right? No, it was I, a little but, flick. But, but Mitrovic my, was walking him down but my, in the back but alley. But my point is, when you start getting into nuance and like, what was going through his head and what he was doing, like it's just like you touch someone that's in the refereeing team and you, you're, ready, you're sent off. And it makes it really, really clear and then nobody does it. So what do you reckon then? How many games would you give? Because Joey Barton... Still the, free to standardise whatever the red card is. I wouldn't go and try and do more I but, think it just like makes a mockery of it all but Mitrovic especially Mitrovic that was an on-field meltdown when Joey Barton did that against Man City 10 years ago I'm pretty sure he was banned for like 2 months he had to go to France then he was on loan at Marseille because he just missed about 10 games it's not the similar thing no, you've, but, lost your, you've lost your head in the pitch no but hasn't he hasn't he got a history Joey Barton where he's been suspended ah, for yeah. things Mitrovic prior Mitrovic has a history too no but not on Joey <laughs> Barton's no, level no, like no, comparing Barton, the two is wild time. yeah <laughs> he, he, he broke um, Dabo's face like I, I feel like um, get the cigar in the we're, we're in a new space here where like I think the game Game's trying to clean itself up, which makes perfect sense. So you just need consistency and hard lines, especially on things like referee uh, in interactions. It's different if we're talking about handballs and interpretations. You can talk about the grey areas of it all, but in that, the physicality part, 100% should be the same rules. And the fact that they've missed out, I think they've made it harder for themselves going forward to hold people to account. But you reckon just three games then? Nothing crazy like... Nah, I just... Like, like it, it didn't go beyond the point. Like, yes, he walked him down. Yes, he pulled him back. But he didn't, it didn't go beyond. It's nowhere near the Canio levels. It didn't escalate beyond the point. It's just a red card. I still can't believe how he didn't just leave it alone when he got the red card. Like, he was still walking the referee down even after that, he that, that shows how, like, gone yeah. he was. His head, yeah. But that's, for me, why he deserves more than three... Uh, matches to be banned because he continued to go, keep on going. Luis Boamorte, the assistant manager, was on the pitch physically pulling him back. He ran onto the pitch mm, and yeah. it's a, he, they were a long way away from the dugout. So how long would you say then? I think it's got to be at least five because there's a distinction for me. Like the Bruno one is obviously a straight red card. He gets three games. That's yeah. as simple. As soon as you touch the linesman, that is three games. But what the comparison with what Mitro did and what Bruno did is completely different. Bruno literally, as you say, gave him a tap, right? But he touched the linesman. So for me, that's an immediate red card. So that's three games. Simple as that, straight reds. And then what Mitro did was a level beyond that. So you've immediately got to go, there's a further uh, ban that has to go. And again, it goes back to my point. If you're protecting the referees, you've got to make an example of Mitro to go, right, if you're going to be playing on Sunday League the next day, you cannot do this. You cannot touch a referee. And if you do, there's going to be some serious consequences. And they have to do that at the Premier League level because otherwise, how is every other level going to be policed? That's really interesting you're saying that because, Marv, you're basically saying that the two are, you've touched the referee, you've touched the linesman, it's the exact same thing. But you, you're you sort of saying, agreeing with me, that Mitrovic is, is worse. It is, but there is, there is very... There should be a longer ban. There is, no, there but is if, a difference. If, there if is, you wrote it down in a report, yeah, word for word, what happened, yeah, you wouldn't be able to distinguish the two things. We, you're, what, this is what I'm saying. In terms of what actually happened, if you look at the Canio where he pushed him over onto the floor, that's a level up. But for me, pulling him back or flicking at him, it's the same level of any... So for me, it's just like I feel like we're, we're trying now to uh, make it out as if like Mitrovic is significantly worse, Fernandez was a little bit bad, but two weeks ago, we were all like, Fernandez, why is this not a red card? So I, I feel like we're contextualising it based on how we feel about the players in the situation, rather than just an act. I don't Cold, know. hard I, act. Both of them should have been... I funny. don't know, man. Mitrovic looked like a proper thug. He was. He looked like he was... If, <laughs> he looked like if, a proper if, thug. If, if, He's a professional yeah, footballer. What do you mean? A tattoo on his neck. Maybe I'm looking into that too uh, much. But listen, he was walking him down, all right? Sending shots at you. No, right. no. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, uh, look, I, I kind of... I agree with both sides for different reasons. Like, I think having them the same makes it easier to enforce and to make it a no-brainer. I think one thing we've suffered from a lot this season is not being interpret the, uh, able to interpret the rules uh, because and so the, the dumber we can make it, the easier the follow it is. So I, I kind of agree of both should be the same. 
on the basis of just ruling it out and stamping it out of the game. However, I kind of leaning towards what Josh is saying about five games because then if someone gets five games, you are making an example and you are setting an example. For context, the Canio just I just looked out there. The Canio got a, an eleven game ban for mm-hmm. push. Mm. So there's a there's a level where Mitro didn't do with the Canio pushed. I know, but I it think, wasn't as bad I think as also that. at those times. It's unprecedented. Like they had no no benchmark as to what to do about that. No one had ever experienced it, and so it went into a massive furore. But in a week's time. And no one's going to be talking about either of those interactions. But, They're going to move question, on to something question, else. Question, Marvin, though. Do you think that it's... Look, a three-game ban is like a bad tackle on a player. Do you not think that pushing a referee is, should be worse than that? In, yeah, but what I'm saying is consistency. So forget the fact that what I think is, whatever it is, both of those things should be treated okay. really, really okay. seriously and not be like picked apart as in like he was stalking him down and he had a tattoo and he's from <laughs> Serbia and he plays yeah. up front. It's I just should like... have gone for that. An extra game for the tats. <laughs> what, yeah. what he did though, was, what he did was a bit more intense than what Bruno did. So he, I, don't, he, I don't think it's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. It definitely was more intense. But then there's an argument because we're talking about influencing at grassroots, right? And obviously this is, you know, there's, there's nothing really to quantify this that much but there's an argument to say though that what Bruno did in that game is reaching a lot more people than the Fulham v Man United game because mm. we're talking about Manchester United versus Liverpool a Premier League game one of the most watched fixtures in world football with and massive fan bases and he's a captain and then you've got an F no disrespect but what an FA Cup semi-final or what was it quarter semis quarter quarter so um, FA Cup quarter final Fulham v Man United yeah I'm sure a lot of people watched it but we're going to be talking mostly UK based mm-hmm. Bruno's actions were seen on a much wider scale, in my opinion, in a much bigger game. And like I said, I definitely think the fact that he's at Anfield, they're 7-0 down. Plays a part. It plays a part in why the referee didn't brandish the red card for him, whereas opposed to... Well, Mitch Rich was definitely going to get one for that. I would, I would hate it. I would but, hate but you know what that. was also frustrating is the retrospective action then was put into place. It was kind of like, well, actually, the referee touched him first, so therefore, it's just like, what like, what are you talking about? That's why I say the FA is a mess. Like, there's not a consistent line. We can talk about handballs at some point, but it's a crime. Like, I just feel like we just want consistency as fans. Whatever the rules are, just be consistent and don't just invent them on the spot and then give... I think the Canio 11 games is just stupid.